This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Bill Davis, servant apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, sent by God to your house to deliver unto you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, tell us what the gospel is, how that Jesus Christ died by our sins, according to the scripture. He was buried. He rose again the third day, according to the scripture. Spirit of the Lord, said Bombay, such a Lord me to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the broken order, preach deliverance to the captives. <clears throat> Thank God, said at liberty, then better bruise. The word is not thee, even if your heart and your mouth is the word of faith. Which I preach, you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved with the heart and believe it unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And there's a power of God unto salvation. Everyone will believe it. The Jew verse, and also to the Greek. There it is. It's the righteousness of God revealed, faith of faith, as it is written, and just to live by his faith. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Well, amen. I want to welcome everyone receiving this broadcast on live stream. Roku. Amen. Thank God, Amen, Apple TV, YouTube, and other devices. And we better say shortwave radio. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. Thank God, Kathy Davidson goes to my left. Good evening, and how are you? I'm doing well. And all the way. From Byers, Colorado, mm -hmm. Kathy Courier. How are you? Hello. I'm well, thanks. Good. You see, what do we call this? That she's on. How's she? Skyping. What? Skyping. Skyping. Goodness sakes. Amen. She's been with me 10 years. As a historian, a writer, and a researcher. And if you look on my website, she's got much written. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. What are we going to do now? We're going to bring out the mice. Got to. Can't okay. leave them out. Amen. We're clear. Yeah.
And how are you, Kennedy? I'm doing very well. I uh, would like to move some of you out of your low, slow, no move. And I'm going to. You know, for years, I thought God would let me have a new sanctuary. And I kind of gave that up. A man visited me today. and told me something in his heart that would mean the sanctuary for water of life. I said, oh, so <laughs> you got me thinking. Uh-oh. <laughs> You've got me thinking. And let me tell you, my heart is completely open to this. I have no resistance in me about it. And I'm praying. And, you know, I haven't shut up. You see, I'm not surprised at that. So I talk to the trustees. I talk to Kathy D. Jerry Brown knows about it. She heard part of the conversation. So I said, I got one more phone call to make. Guess who? Kathy Bye. I told her, she said, really? I'll tell you what, then I'll watch and pray. That's all I ask. How's that? Now I want to talk about Moses. Moses, 120. I'm just 86. Amen. You want to read about Moses? Sure will. It's in Deuteronomy. Ver- yeah, chapter 34, and it's verse 7. Well, let's go back to verse 5. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord, and he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab over against Beth Peor. But no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. 120. Eyes not dim. Now, you say, well, you're blind. Well, let me tell you. I have a video that I did on Sunday morning after I got out of it jail, one time arrested in my life, one time, reading the sobriety, it doesn't agree with me being arrested at all. I have to say this, that there's a minister in this area and you were sharing with him about going to jail and you went to jail because you went to cast the devil out of a woman yeah. and she didn't like that. And the minister said, well, then you must be for real. You got to be in jail. <laughs> yeah, I did. You must be following God. <laughs> well, I had to go once, I guess. <laughs> That's, I think, what he said. There's your initiation. Amen. Thank God. So, you, that video was done the day after uh, I got out of jail. And 
I'm not sure I wore my glasses to read the word that day. But it doesn't matter. I was reading without my glasses frequently. The word, the Bible. Amen. On TV. Amen. So, persecutors sent me to jail. Yeah. And the persecutors is what brought my vision down. Wait a minute. I'm coming out of this. And when I went into it, my eyes were not very dim. You got it? So I come out and my eyes like the were when I went in. Amen. Get the persecution uh, trouble off of them. There they are. And I'm all jazzed up about a new. Yeah, are you getting me? A new sanctuary in Plano. How's that? I think we better move on, don't you? All right. You got any more to say? Do you want to worship? Huh? Do you want to go into worship? Well, I do. Can I share one thing before we do? Well, of course you can. You will go with me to Philippians 3. This is what will take us into worship. Last Sunday, I spoke on, the, on Jesus, on the death, burial, and resurrection, and how Jesus accomplished it all. That when he was raised out of the grave, we were raised with him. All sin had been paid for. All sin. All sickness had been paid for, healed. All poverty had been paid for. It was done. It was done when God raised him out of the grave. It was done. Now we have a job. We have to believe that. And I want to show us something, a verse that really ministers to me, and it's ministered to me more than once. But I'm going to begin, and let's begin in verse 8 of Philippians 3. It says, Yea, doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. You want the knowledge of Christ, you're going to have to lay some things down. It's a payback. It's an exchange. It says, For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ. There's that faith. Of Christ, the righteousness, which is of God by faith. There's that faith. It says that I may know him, that I may know Jesus and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Notice that all four of those things go together. To know him, the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his sufferings and being made conformable unto his death. You don't get the power of the resurrection until you're made conformable unto his death. There's some more payment to be made. It says, if by any means I might obtain unto the resurrection of the dead. Now, this, look here. It says, not that I have already attained. Isn't this amazing? This is the Apostle Paul. Not that I had already attained. Either were already perfect. We spoke about that verse, Hebrews 10, that uh, by the, by the um, death of one, we were perfected in Christ. But Paul right here says, I'm not perfect yet. I'm not perfect yet. By one sacrifice, we have been perfected forever. But we have to walk to there. We have to believe it. And Paul says it right here. Not as though I already attained, neither were already perfect. Paul's not perfect yet. He said, but I follow after. I follow after. If that I may apprehend that for which I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. He's not there yet. 
but he's going after it. Now, if you think that pa Paul has, is still going after it here in Philippians, don't you think we have to too? We're not perfected in five minutes. We're not perfected in 10 minutes. We're not perfected until we go to be with Jesus. He said, but this is what I love. It says, brethren, I count not myself to have appreh apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Forgetting those things which are behind. We've come from work. We've come from busy being busy all day. Put those things behind and press toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You want to add something to that? Yes. 37 years of walking, living by faith. Not begging, not telling anyone Amen. what I need. Living by faith. Well, I need much money, it comes. Amen. When I need small amounts, it comes. I'm a witness to all that. That you are. So, I got the faith for a, a different sanctuary. No question. I'm just, I just want to know if it's God. Amen. So, I'm just watching and praying. And like I told this friend, let's just see what God's doing. Amen. Are you in, in on the watch game? Well, are you? Amen. Or are you saying, oh, come on. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Thank you. Watch and pray. Amen. Are we ready to praise the Lord? Amen. Let's go. You are the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Generation, a royal priesthood, a holy 
Australia and New Zealand. Thank you. Just Sundays, yes. Thank you. One minute. Now, this woman puts the milk out. In Hebrews chapter 5, it says, I can't speak to you as spiritual, but as carnal, as babes. That's what she preaches. You see, I've been born again 40 years. Hello, baby. 30 seconds. <laughs> she wants to preach. <laughs> and you need it. And I will tell you, she's the best you'll ever listen to. You know what? She's got the milk in her that she puts out. 15. And I put out years ago. Tune in every day. She's going to be somewhere. You'll be listening. God bless you. See you next time. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas, 75086, 
That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church.